There are so many arrogant and prideful people all around us. People think that sin is murder, adultery, but no. Pride is the biggest sin, the self-righteousness. When we think we're better than others, when we think that our excrement doesn't stink, when we look down at others, when we fail to do God's command, which is to not only to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our mind, strength, and soul, but to love our neighbor as ourself. On those two commands hangs all the law and the prophets. So what is to love your neighbor as yourself? Love the one who is in need. Guys, there is so much self-righteousness out there. There are so much people who refuse. They're, 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 they're just fools headed for destruction unless they come to repentance. And so I just wanted to bring up these verses because I know that a lot of us are humbled right now. But remember what the scriptures said. Those who are humbled will be exalted in the latter days. And those who are exalted will be brought down low and be humbled. So, ask God for more discernment, more revelation, but above all, more wisdom. And let's read what God talks about in His Word about pride. Proverbs 11.2 When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. Proverbs 29.23 Once pride will bring him low, but he who is lowly in spirit will obtain honor. Proverbs 8.13 the fear of the Lord is hatred of evil. Pride and arrogance and the way of evil and perverted speech I hate. Proverbs 16, 18. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. James 4, 6. But he gives more grace. Therefore, it says God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Romans 12, 16. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Proverbs 16.5 Everyone who is arrogant in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Be assured, he will not go unpunished. 1 John 2.16 For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh, and the desires of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not from the Father, but it's from the world. Proverbs 18.12 Before destruction a man's heart is haughty, but humility comes before honor. Philippians 2.3 Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Proverbs 13.10 By insolence comes nothing but strife, but with those who take advice is wisdom. Proverbs 26.12 Do you see a man who is wise in his own eyes? <laughs> there is more hope for a fool than for him. Psalm 10.4 In the pride of his face the wicked does not seek him. All his thoughts are, there is no God. Galatians 6.3 for if, for if anyone thinks he is something, when he is nothing... He deceives himself. Proverbs 27, 2. Let another praise you, and not your own mouth, a stranger, and not your own lips. Proverbs 21, 4. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked are sin. Jeremiah 9, 23. Thus says the Lord, Let not the wise man boast in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man boast in his might. Let not the rich man boast in his riches. 2 Corinthians 10, 17-18 Let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. For it is not the one who commends himself who is approved, but the one whom the Lord commends. I love that. Proverbs sixty nineteen. It is better to be of a lowly spirit with the poor than to divide a spoil with the proud. Daniel 4.37 Wow, Nebuchadnezzar Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the King of Heaven, for all his works are right and his ways are just, 
and those who walk in pride he is able to humble, as he did to Nebuchadnezzar, and as he can do to all your family and friends who say there is no God, and who say all this is nonsense and there's no judgment coming. Well, if it happened to Nebuchadnezzar, it can happen to them. Remember, as Matthew 19, 26 says, with God, all things are possible. I love you all. Shalom.